Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. It was a fun time last last episode. We uh, we forged some awesome gear at the Adamantine Forge. We kicked some Dwergar ass. Um, and uh, look at all these gnomes. They're all they're all happy to be free. Let's go let's go see what they have to say. Not right. Not right. Apprentice Larida. At least at least some of us are safe. Praise Iron Hand. If only there were more blessings to count. Well, that's not a very gripping conversation. <laughs> Could be it's a little hard. more grateful. It's not like any gnomes died in the fight, right? We didn't kill any gnomes in the crossfire, did we? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, no. Mr. Owlbear has turned back into a man. Try talking to them again. Um, I may have pissed them off by attacking a chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Lunkbug. Beldron! I hope it I was so worried. Okay, good. Didn't it hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. Ah, that's so cute. Man. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gadel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. <laughs> I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? One of who? The absolute people? Mm. Um... Oh, the, God. the cult thinks it owns me, I beg to differ. That didn't much look like begging, but no complaints from me. Here. The Iron nice. Hand gnomes on oh, it sounds like debts. we're getting some loot. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. Who's Walburn? <laughs> the leader of our expedition. He was sent off to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. I hear someone doing some lock picking in the background. <laughs> that was me. I stole a, I took a chest and ran away to lock Um, away. before you ask, no, I'm not going to stage a rescue. Whatever the cult wants, I want the opposite. We need to free your friend. This is no time to be coy. What is it that he knows? Let's try to get. Let's try to get the him to spill the right, beans. What does this guy know? He said, "Be gone with the Don't do this, man. Every time." Oh. <laughs> I know, I should it not be leading matter. dialogues. We can't help him from here. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. I'm rolling bad. <sighs> that business is what sent yes, us you. after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make I feel like these guys are up to something suspicious with a bunch of explosives. Um, you're abandoning your leader, that's cold. Run away then, I have my own business to be about. If my path takes me to Moonrise, I'll see about freeing him myself. <laughs> your resolve, Maybe he'll give me some answers optimism. that you won't. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then onto the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. Do you guys think we actually get to go to Baldur's Gate in this game? I think we must. <laughs> we must. <laughs> Unthinkable. No, we would not. But. Well, so, uh, Rob, take that chest. I, I did, and I picked it, and I it just had golden rings, and I sent you all of it. Oh. It also had a deed, which I read. So, Sam, did you take all my lockpicks last playthrough? Take all your lockpicks? Yeah. You want them back? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I could have picked the uh, <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna send all, all these scrolls to Gale. Um what did he give us? The gnome guy. He must have given us something good. Did we loot all these people? I have a bunch of random crap in my inventory, so we must have. For the most part. Yeah. Um, though I can't tell what he gave me because I don't honestly remember what I already had in my inventory to begin with. <laughs> I have so much random crap. Carlac, you can take that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
Um, well... Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find oh is a boy. Disposal. Who's stealing stuff? Yeah, boy. <laughs> I just was looking in the dead body of it. My sister! Oh, dead oh my body. god. Um, do you need poison resistance to get through this, um... This poison cloud? I don't think so. I mean, I used to be fine. You but I didn't actually go on the poison cloud. I don't do you, there, there's mo what if there's good stuff in there? Actually, I don't have any elixirs of poison resistance. Never mind. I don't know if you guys have any, but... Uh, I think I do, actually. Let me try. Zach, Zach, you have one in your inventory. You could go explore it. Yeah. And then uh, we better go return that guy's head to the uh, Mushroom King afterwards. I don't have anything. I have fire resistance. But no poison. Robin is looking very majestic right now. Why are you glowing? Couldn't tell you. Honestly. Oh, you, you're also big. It says you have Elixir Wait. of the Colossus. So sorry. Oh, I you're used like, fight. You're right. You're like uh, twice as big as a normal person. Oh my god, look at you next to me. Right. Look at you next to us. I got through the ancient temple. I Okay, I'm gonna follow Giblet. That's it then. Right. I can't jump any further. That's what Giblet sounds like? That's not what Giblet should sound like. Wow. <laughs> I don't think there's anything here, but it's pretty cool, a pretty cool view. Oh, so it's just a nice overlook? Okay. Yeah, I mean, can I fly down there? There's like stuff down there. Uh, if you have like a scroll of Featherfall or something, you might be able to use it. But we won't be able to follow you. We don't have poison resistance. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. All right, I'm gonna go fast travel to the Mykonid colony. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll do that. I'll join you. There. Wait, is there? Mm. I'm gonna do one last walk through the end here. Make sure you didn't miss any loot, and I'll wait for um, Giblet I'm, to do. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna make sure. I'm not really going for loot. I just want to see if to like... do all the talking while you guys are doing well, your walk through. Uh, I can go and sell some stuff. My inventory is chock full of junk. Alright, I am done selling, so let's go talk to the mushroom people. Right. So was I the envoy to this guy? Were you? I don't, I don't remember. Um, yeah, either you or Giblet, someone who has better charisma than me. I think I have like eight charisma. Yeah. <laughs> I should not be doing any talking with my eight charisma. Huh. You know, Giblet definitely has the best charisma. For some reason, I remember talking to him though. Uh, okay, you can be our liaison. In my inventory. I don't even, ha I don't even have the head in my. You know inventory, what though? So we Giblet. could probably break oh, some good news to uh, to Thula. Giblet, do you want Nier's head and go talk to him? <clears throat> no, you got it. Well. Here we go. Peace Whatever you do, don't start a fight, be though. At home. Here's the head of your enemy. Jesus. A drow sword to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. That's disgusting. In death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life. Chanta. Do you have any rewards that are a little more material? Oh no, I'm gonna get. Oh, I don't know about oh no, but. Oh remember. look, they're doing a little song and dance for us. Yeah. <laughs> this makes me nervous, but. As our circle grows, <laughs> so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. What did that actually do? Oh, we got an amulet. Is it good? Let me see. Voice of the circle. There's a class action. Um, it looks like it probably can spawn something. 
Okay, I have to look at it more in the inventory. What does this do? Interesting. Grants an ally a plus two bonus on persuasion checks. <laughs> plus two bonus on persuasion. We can give that yeah. to Giblet. He can be like the ultimate talking machine. Yeah, here, Giblet. I'm sending it to you. It's a rare necklace, I think, or amulet. All right. I can't remember. I'm gonna go and talk to this gnome and tell her that she's avenged. I'm coming along, just not fast enough. Any word on my people? Hell yeah. I saved them. Expect to see them here soon. You did? Then I owe you more than I can ever repay. How about you start trying to repay it, though? <sighs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Babe. How long before you're fit to Don't move? Don't know. Longer than I'd like. But a slow recovery still a recovery. Well. Okay, well, see ya. I'm gonna try something real quick wait, before we leave her. If I have enough healing potions. I have eight. Okay. I'm gonna just gonna throw She's already got eight out of eight health, but okay. Oh, yeah? I don't want my rare oh, never mind, with the dead level three thing. Necromancy spell necklace. Um. I think you should keep that. Maybe? As a backup, like, I'll just throw it on. Yeah, so, like, if we want to speak to the dead. Um, I've got my crazy crazy monk guy amulet check this out i can still talk to the crazy monk <laughs> okay <laughs> um well i'm gonna steal the amulet <laughs> so yeah, i'm gonna keep this thing on because it's funny it also gives me some cool monk powers um, should we go up to the mountain pass, um, on the top? Do we remember that? I guess I thought, so can we not get the Moonrise, the Moonrise powers from here? We should be able to. The, this is, this is supposedly the path, so. Yeah. I think there's more stuff to do in Act 1, though, before we move on to Moonrise Towers. That mountain is pass. Moonrise Towers not Act 1? Yeah, the Moonrise Pass is supposedly, it's like, um, it's more Act 1 stuff. Cool. I do my research, guys. Alright, yeah, yeah. Where, where'd you yeah, go? Where are we going? Um, I think we need to head back up to Joaquin's Rest. Okay. Um. No idea where that is. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. even here. remember what this is. I'm here, though. This yeah. is I'm that, that village text. that was on fire because it got raided by the goblins. Oh, yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Save your thoughts for Okay, let me look at the map. All right. So I was like Wait. looking up like how best to do Act One without missing any content, and they basically say go oh do the goodness. Underdark. Um, and then when you finish the Underdark, instead of going straight to Moonrise Towers, then you go the above land route because there's more stuff in Act One above land that we can do. Okay. Um. Also, are you are you following Robin? Robin, I like this giant Robin look. You should always, <laughs> you should always be this big. Always be giant. Okay, I'm following you wherever. Oh man, look how, look at our size difference. Dude. I know that's nuts. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's always leaving the dust. <laughs> no, are you really that slow at walking? Lost. Because <laughs> um, okay, so this was the place that we originally track. went to that they said you're too low level, remember? And they told yeah. us to come back later. So I figured that was a sign that that was going to take us into Act Two or something like that. Or yeah, I I thought that at first too, but I have yeah. it on. But it was just like a level on good warning. authority. The Act Two is Moonrise Towers, and this just takes us to another area um, in Act One. We are about All to progress right. your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends. Done. I just, this, uh, that makes me so goddamn nervous. Like we're gonna lo lose here, here, here. progress or something. Here, I'll save right now. And if we end up losing progress or something, we'll just, we'll go back and finish up all of our loose ends. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure- our, We should do like a, a journal review at some point. Yeah. yeah. Some some player's holding us up. You want to do a journal review first? Okay. It says we uh, timed out. One or more players failed. I don't know. 
No, I, I, I'm fine. Okay. All right. Shoving foes into yeah. chasms may kill them instantly. That's my favorite. I love shoving foes into <laughs> chasms. Yeah, Adrian always just shoves the loot down the cavern too. <laughs> it's my favorite move. This is pretty. It's a brighter. You're entering a different region. Well. No, I think oh. Giblet's trying to go back. Uh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is really pretty. Look at this, guys. Pretty nice. You see this canyon over to the right? That's where I, that's where I grew up. So let's um I'm gonna go onto my map here and see what what's there to do here. Travel through the mountain pass. All yeah. Right. Well, I guess we can just explore around. There's a little campfire down here. Wait. Nice statue. Wow. Giblet, what does that plaque say? Doesn't say Blessed anything. Be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. I, warn you, I found I a cave. Well there's um a cranky, there's a cranky standoffish woman here. Giblet, you lead the way. Ah, a friendly face. Yes, I oh, am. you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know. I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Hive of what? Uh, yeah, it looks like a temple. Wait, I'm busy. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> all business. Get <laughs> play. Very well. I can respect. Inside that temple is a gith crash. Oh, that's where the uh, crash is? He established it in what remained Alice. after they slaughtered all of the monks. Uh, well, we can, but well, I'm not here know. to seek revenge for that's, the deaths like they caused. Have, right? The Society of Brilliance tasked me with acquiring the one of their eggs. In I know, those are my people. To settle a dispute. <laughs> Sounds like we need to get revenge on these gifts. Less than successful. And if the Gith yeah, ever see hurts. me again, <laughs> they will kill me. So, I'm asking you to retrieve an egg for me. That's like um, stealing a baby. Be well compensated, of course. Just She's asking us to steal a baby. Egg. I like this. Egg. Let's get that breakfast, boys. Wait, what kind of egg? Is this a Githyanki egg? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm all for I'm all for helping her though because the, the, the Githyanki killed my people, so we're gonna we're gonna murder them. Yeah, but let me get the payment up front. <laughs> good luck, good luck with this. With a twenty-one. Oh, you got it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! All those bonuses Classic you have. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking you to do it. Very well. As if she knows us. <laughs> Here's the money. Now, I expect a speedy delivery. Thank you, leave. Awesome. It's she giving me trader, so. giving me the money for some reason. Um. Wow. Let's see what she has to sell. To ask. Yeah. A friendly face. Oh, you are a I don't want to have this whole conversation with Look you again. There. It's you a Lathanderian monastery, a site of pilgrimage. Oh, I mean no offense to the morning lord. I simply prefer yeah, they me too. have the audacity to call that hole a crash, as if it weren't actually a murderous training camp. Honestly, I was doing them a this favor awesome. of Okay, so do we want to do we want to swap Shadowheart for Hogwash, yeah, Do we want to bring uh Lazel with us? Yankee yes. can no more I'm rise above its you. nature than gnomes can fly. You... This is awesome. You'll yeah, be well compensated, of course. 
up. So this is another way to I just want to trade with you. I trust this for some reason. Very well, but I'll make note of how like it was dangerous or something. All right. So let's see what we can buy from her. Um. Oh, I see you. Do you guys want a... Does anyone use a staff? I do. You use a staff? Do you want a staff that gives you thunderous smite and does plus 1d4 thunder damage? Um, and is a plus 1 staff? Damage? It's uh, 1d8 plus, plus 1. Like what's the total damage? 4 to 17? For me, it's 7 to 17, but that's going to depend on, you know, your... Your yeah. deck score or whatever. I have one. I and that no, I have one that's good. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. It's doing something somewhere. There is a graceful cloth. You gain cat's grace and increase your dexterity score by two to a maximum of twenty. You gain a plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws and also increase your jump distance by one point five. That might actually be good for me. Oh my god, that's expensive. <laughs> That's really expensive. Yeah, what are we doing over here? We're just taking in There's the There's gloves of baneful yeah. striking. Whenever you deal oh, damage with a Bane. weapon, it's sorry guys. Whenever you deal weapon, <laughs> the target receives a minus one d four penalty to its saving throw against your next spell. It's kind of boring. Nice, gloves of cinder and sizzle. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four fire damage. Wait, really? That's really good. <laughs> he hated it. No, I like that. I tried to give you guidance to oh make you gosh. a better player, but it stopped the play. Yes, please. <laughs> um, and then there's some cool dyes. I don't know if you guys are interested in any like clothing dyes or whatever. Yeah, Do you guys want like pink and leaf green, white and scarlet, black and azure? Kind of like sure. this, yeah. the sound of black and azure die. All right, I'm gonna go buy some stuff, and uh, let's try out my new fancy stuff. Okay. This guy. Um, that's an interesting look. I don't love the look of it. But I do like the stats. All right, should we get going? Do we get Lazel? Um, yeah, we should get Lazel. Did you all read the signpost? Who's Giblet talking to? North Rosymorn Monastery, West uh, Moonrise so Tower. I'm gonna go we to the camp go and pick up Lazel. Let's go to the crash. Um, is Lazel gonna be okay. upset though if we want to murder wait, wait, everybody wait, 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 in the crash? Why we, if you want to kill the crash members, why are we bringing Lazel? Actually, you're right. Oh. I do want to murder everyone Monastery. at the crash because they killed my monk brothers. All right. So look at your journal real quick. Okay. Under find a cure. Find the Githyanki crash. crash. We learned where the crash is located. We should see if we can find some answers there. So if we go and kill everyone first. So maybe, you know. Maybe we talk let's... and then kill. So I think we bring her. Yeah. I think we bring her. Be nice, trying to like nab an egg, and then we come back later if you want to kill him. <laughs> okay. Order of operations, order of operations. Also, there's a cave back here that we might want to do before we go deeper. Check out this view. Sightseeing right here. But the Okay. Oh, uh, romantic giblet. Wow, yeah, how beautiful. Are you should spend some time with your girlfriend, Shadowheart. See if she likes the view. Okay, I'm following Robin. He seems to know where he's going. I do know where I'm going. Okay, Robin, I'm coming. Okay, so Man, this new armor, armor is kind of ugly for me, monastery. but it's really good. It just gives West, me a flat plus two dex. Towers. South, Joaquin's rest. We want to go to the Sweet. monastery. Look what's going on over here. Oh, shit. Sounds like a fight's going on. Who are we fighting? Big Zombies. Guy. The ghouls. Ghouls. And there's a Death Shepherd level 6. <laughs> Holy shit. 
it's pretty crazy. Who decided to get us into this max? There's two Death Shepherds. Well. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a. I'm eager for battle. Twice as much as good against that fight. That wasn't me, was it? That no, was that me. that was me. I, with my amulet, it gives me a spell. My very first spell. Baby's first spell. Oh, nice. Um, I think it will just run up. I'm gonna run up too. I'll get in front of you. You better. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get in front of you. I'm gonna get behind you. You have better AC. Not anymore. I just sacrificed some of my AC for plus two dexterity on this um, oh, this no. rope that I put on. I have 18 well, I'm going the AC now. In the back. Nice. 11 damage. That's pretty good. That's all right. That was not that good. These but ghouls. They, one of these ghouls is pretty close to dead. It has undead ward on. What does that do? Affected entity is resistant is to bludgeoning, slashing, and yeah. piercing damage. Interesting. I'm still giant, so I'm gonna transform and just. Do you get to be a giant when you're in your animal form too? Yeah. Oh my! That is a truly huge owl bear. You're crushing me under your paw, my man. <laughs> I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna get which, close which on some of these zombies, and hopefully. Oh, dash go for the one with 16 health. You can probably if they, down if him. If these move, they'll all get target of opportunity, and, and ah. I didn't have much more movement. That was it. Shouldn't these guys be burning so in the sun or something? Can I, this guy? I thought like ghouls are like nighttime creatures. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's Shadowheart's turn. What are you good for, Shadowheart? Also, I have an AOE attack. I'll do next turn to hit everything around me. Um, Shadowheart, so Shadowheart, Shadowheart. What can you do? If you get too close to me. What was that? A flaming boulder. I made a flaming sphere. I've never done this spell before. I wanted to try it. That's cool. Um, Shadowheart can also use her turn to give Robin a little... Oh, thank you. Why didn't I attack it when it moved? Sad. Because they didn't move out of your range. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> they attacked the boulder. He's trying to well. attack the, the ball of fire. Oh, it does have health, I guess. How much health? It's got 20 health, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, it's the ball's turn. What can I do with the ball? When the sphere is ablaze, it leaves behind a fire surface that deals 2 to 12 fire damage to nearby creatures and objects. Oh, I see. All these guys are aflame. I'm going to attack the main skeleton guy. Okay. Nice. <laughs> you might try moving the ball. Do you want me to like spread some, uh, oh, spread some nice. flames around? Uh, maybe. I don't want to hurt your ball, though. Don't so. worry. If you hurt the ball, <laughs> it'll be fine. It's just yeah, a we'll it's just a ball of fire. All right. Um, Phaedron, move back just a little bit. I'm going to take an opportunity attack if I do it. Is All it right. worth it? Oh, I'll try to move forward. Like, like I can bit. take one attack if it's like, I don't want to die. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, you're going to take it. Oh, it was a oh. crit, too. Okay. All right, sorry. Well, hopefully it's worth it. That was pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I took anything out though. Let's do but, um. Let's... let's do one of these. <laughs> and one of these. <laughs> and one of these. <laughs> All right. I want to do a crushing flight, but I can't. I'll, uh... I'm gonna make you fearful again. Uh, oh well. We'll see fear and confusion. Oh, you're gonna do an AOE? I saved. Nice. 
strong <laughs> they're pretty yeah. disgusting <laughs> i guess that's why they warned us about going into this area yeah oh, we're holding up there this isn't, this isn't that bad i mean with moves like that shadow heart we're unstoppable <laughs> oh phaedra nice. I guess that the be extra, running away. the extra fire damage on my like... punches is really nice. The, he just revived the skeleton, by the way, guys. Wait, was it already dead? And he just revived it. So we gotta try to take out both. At least they came back with half health. So we just focus on the daggers right in between them. If you guys Uh, I think one of them. Let me see if they're still fearful. I don't think they'll run away. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This flaming sphere, not that good. I guess it's nice just to have another body on the battlefield, but... I, I'm gonna see if I can do a jump. Hold up, I might be able to take him out right now. Just, let's just see. Can you do that? Okay, now okay, I'm getting out. I might be able to help here, let's see. If I do this... I didn't kill him though. It was close. Alright. Uh, are you kidding me? It's okay, Giblet. Better luck next Nine. time. Oh, two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Giblet, throw something at him. All right, what are we up to, oh, Shadow Heart? Right, so Shadow Heart, finish off the shepherd. Yeah. Shadow Heart's gonna do one of these bad boys. Wait, wait. wait. Oh. Okay, nice. Very good. Crazy, crazy strong. It was falling out in the corner. All right, do you want to finish it off, Mr. Albear? Yeah, I'll, I'll try. Oh my mess. god, you guys need some help. Day, oh my god, I'm failing too. What's up with I this, Vagrant? I can do a jump to finish him off. Alright, you got it. Nice. Alright. That was... That was a difficult battle. They've got some plate Medium armor. armor. This plate armor looks pretty cool. Yeah. Does anyone want 18 heavy armor? Can Shadowheart wear heavy armor? I'm gonna see. Shadowheart, do you want to wear heavy plate armor? S send it to camp, because we'll at least send it. You know what? Who can wear this? Lazelle can wear this. Um, do we want to use Lazelle to cozy up and get in good with the um, the Gith Yankees, and then ditch Lazelle and then we kill them all? We should. Or is that like really low? Really low because Should we're like down. using Lazel and pretending that we're gonna be nice to the Gith Yankees and then we're gonna kill them well, all. We don't have to ever go kill them, really. Well, they killed all the monks. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Yep, that's Damn, all right. I don't know if we can be friends. <laughs> Wait, no one took the plate armor. I'm gonna send it to camp. I no, I, I took one of the plate armors and sent it to Lazel. Oh, the, it looks pretty cool. Which one did you do? Well, the death shepherd plate armor or the zealot? I, I took three from the death shepherd and the from the zealot, <clears throat> and sent it to camp. So we'll sell them later. Well, I think we're all looted here, right? Yeah. Which way? So we gotta oh, head to the monastery, yeah. which is um. If you guys look on your map, it's like northeast of here. Oh, mm -hmm. So we just want to keep heading like this, like northern path, I think. Open up. Okay. Broken. Need to find another way. More of a wild goose chase. It says yeah, we need to find another way. We might need to go around, guys. 
I see like oh, yeah. a little zip line. I see where Giblet is, yeah. I think we need to get to this zip line. Okay, so follow me. I mean, not. Fl I think I we need to, to go fly over there. Down here to the zip line. Oh, no, I can't. Trap. Be oh, there's traps though, so be cautious. There's a bunch of mines. Why are you guys going that I'm. I'm so, so, Sam sees a zip line. I'm kind of in between both. Okay, right so. Now. Do you guys see this monster? Who's there, Wanderer? Where are you? <laughs> Who's this guy? It's like Merlin. Gale's grandpa. I like this guy. If perchance you the real wizard. Gale, take notes. Traveling companions, a man who adheres to the given name of Gale. Oh my god. Oh my god, he is like Gale's grandfather. Gale. The second wizard we meet in Inez of Gale. In fact, I do think he's resting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ever a man Very trusting. Person. What if this guy's evil? Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage We're I intend to Gale, undertake just like we lost to the this aforementioned <laughs> camp? Beat it, bozo. Yes, I, I, I definitely want to travel with this. Uh, oh no, too. We got to figure out who the hell this guy is. This, we might just lose Gale. Should it be, be the nature of our acquaintance? We already lost the Starian. You. Well, you may safely classify yeah. Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. This guy Elminster sounds exhausting Ford. to talk to. Dude, no, we gotta this travel with him. So <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to travel no with this guy, because we're in heavy this limbo of indecision, oh, but yeah. set course for your camp forthwith. Oh my god, this oh my guy. God, this guy. Bard. <laughs> Apparently, you know of this guy already. And I would confirm yes. it to be so. Please. <laughs> After you. Humble much? Do we have to go I to camp now? For your Apparently. Oh, already did it. Ah. <laughs> and Sorry, yonder I yeah. spy no, no, the you're good. You're good. My pursuit. Elminster? While we're here at camp, Gale. I'll go pick up Lazelle. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on well, my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. Mm. She the goddess sent me, Gale. You know... Of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Young yeah, man, has your sojourn yep. away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank nor oh my God. but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup he of wine food would appear unto me before he says anything. This guy's crazy. Surely would begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. <laughs> yeah, Gail. Oh, Where's your decorum? Slam Gail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Slam Gail. Oh, <laughs> fine, fine. <clears throat> I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned oh, wow. stomach Gale beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. Oh my god. A good deal to stew over, if you will. <laughs> this <laughs> guy is yapper. Ladled with as import the kids say. should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. <laughs> right. Um, I like see, this guy. Can we have him hang out at our I, camp? Uh, That's what I'm oh saying. my god, he doesn't know how to say it. Uh, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. <laughs> Again. I'll speak as plainly as I can, I forswearing the accustomed <laughs> frills that decorate my speech. <laughs> I don't think you're I possible to speak plainly. Behalf of Mistra. The message yep. and the charge I bring you are hers. Really? 
This guy is a messenger for the goddess. <laughs> yeah, just keep banging. Thank yeah. you for that most considerate <laughs> reminder. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here. Oh, no. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistral is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Oh. I would say no to some divine intervention. <laughs> the very purpose of my presence. In a roundabout sort of way. You must Way. know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. So dramatic. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale. With We're over its here eating tadpoles. It is Mistress Belief that only you can. Believe me, old man, I'm going to destroy the Absolute without Gail's help. Oh, that's number two. That's oh, that's actually two. an option. Mistress is oh, no, no, mistaken. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I want to go one. Yeah, the yeah, old. let's be Let's see. Precisely. <laughs> Mistress has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orbs rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to wow. unleash its wow. lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could <laughs> be hell. The visitor chimes in. All hindrance. <laughs> They're just casually listening we to all of our conversations. See. So basically we want to like find treat him like a bomb? The heart of the absolute. Get into the absolute I mean, and then detonate I guess it's more like he has a nuclear reactor and now he can use and it instead of just use wait for it to melt, the, it, melt down. Catalyst that will burn it from this world. That's pretty cool. You must find we'll have heart. to take Gale with okay. us when we go fight the final boss. Well, well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. Use yourself as a catalyst. Okay, so he's going to kill himself. What do we do here? Um, do we I like Gale? Not three. Definitely not three. You're monstrous. You're tasking him to kill himself. What? I don't. Th I don't think no. it's that monstrous. Indeed. But I think she trusts me too. Nice. It brings me. Uh, Gale seems willing. Okay. This, my friend. Nice. But such yeah, is a worthy sacrifice. will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute, and for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed yeah. such is mistress promise with that i've said my sorry piece the need only bestow unto thee the oh charm the charm has been it's made. funny <laughs> oh i thought he literally meant like pay you the respect you gave me and he just leaves oh. <laughs> no he literally means a charm a literal charm yeah <laughs> it is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I wouldn't trust Giblet with anything. To shepherd him well on this <laughs> I'll take Rick. strangest of journeys. <laughs> I like these people that just like personally trust Giblet, you know? They just meet him. Yeah. He does not uh, look like a trustworthy uh, person. Sure. No, the good does not look trustworthy. On my honor, I'm not <laughs> sure yet I can say the same. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky strewn gods ordain wow. the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, I want to learn to talk like this guy. Lonely hours. Come, ebb, come, flow, come, all 
that is beyond the breadth yeah, of our dominion. Be <laughs> a moon unto yourself. Yeah, and you will not get Even any points across. waves of fate can break upon the shores <laughs> of will. Farewell, my friend. You're not staying? Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Um, okay, we got to end the episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to continue exploring around this place. See what Gail has to say. Talk to some Githyankis probably. Yeah, we'll see you guys then. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.